Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One, and I'm going to share with you um, something that I found on YouTube. Just trying to look for different options to work with my napkins. And this is called a napkin transfer technique. And what you're going to do is take a piece of paper, and you're going to cover that with a piece of cling wrap. And you're going to want to straighten it out. We all know how cling wrap acts. It wants to stick to everything. Let's see, hold on. My corner here got folded over. Alright, so you put your cling wrap down. Top of there. And the napkin that I'm going to be using is this one here from Shabbylicious. I'm going to use this one. I think I'm going to make a card with this. So you put down your um, napkin. And then you're going to lay another piece of paper on top of that. Now you're going to iron this on a high setting. You can also put parchment paper over this if you want, but I'm just going to do it like this. Um, you can put parchment paper, like I said, to because um, you're going to iron it. Let me get another piece of paper because I don't want to um, touch the side of the plastic. So basically you're going to iron it to seal the napkin to the paper that's under it. So it's going to be like a sandwich. So the plastic is going to be sandwiched between the napkin and the, the last bottom sheet of paper. So I'm going to um, iron this probably take about two or three minutes to completely apply enough heat and get it to seal and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like at that point okay so I've been ironing this now for about about a minute to two minutes and I'm thinking that it should be about ready so I'm just showing you basically what I'm doing just running the iron over it and making sure you um, get all the edges where the image stops at so it can seal completely to the paper Alright, so I'm thinking it should be done. If not, you can always put the paper back down and iron it some more. So we're going to peel this off. <clears throat> and this corner right here is lifting, so i got to go over that corner again. Side edge is going to peel a little bit because it's not actually sticking to anything. And what about this corner over here also didn't seal, so I'm just going to put the paper back right there. And seal this corner. I'm not sure if you can use if you can use one of those small craft irons. I'm not I don't think it gets hot enough. But I don't know. It's worth a try, I guess. Because if it doesn't work, you can just switch over. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna peel this off of here. And then you're left with what appears to be a mess. <laughs> So you're just gonna um, 
you're just gonna trim around your image. Now this corner here is not sealed. I'm not gonna worry about it, so I'm gonna trim this back a little bit because I'm using this for a card. and this is what you're left with so they have some piece of plastic pulled off and you can see here how you can tell that it didn't seal but like I said it's okay because I'm gonna um, trim it back anyway so this is what it looks like so this is your napkin and it's on a piece of paper no wrinkling no fussing and I'm um, gonna also try this technique when I do my um, altered canvases instead of my podging the napkin down because sometimes when you're doing it the napkin tears so this would be perfect so we'll continue on with the rest of the card let me get the rest of my supplies ready okay so to save some time I went ahead and pre-cut my papers for the card that I want to do and I also um, trimmed the image and it's really easy to cut it with um, the paper trimmer. They cut really easy. It doesn't snag or anything. So as you can see, it feels... Well, you can't feel it, but <laughs> it looks just like paper. It cuts just like paper. And when you cut, um, the napkin doesn't tear away from where you cut it. So it's really adhered good with using the plastic wrap. So I'll try to make this quick. I don't usually do process videos or tutorials. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to mat this first <clears throat> to try to make it. I want the image to kind of pop a little bit. So, and I'm sorry if I am out of frame. I haven't mastered the right spot to put my camera yet. So I think I do the front first and then I'll do the inside. And oh. this is the part I hate because I always get it crooked. I don't care how much I try to even it up. <laughs> yes, that looks straight enough. And then what else I have to do next? I have these other pieces over here. I'm going to do it really quick. Try not to bore you guys with my card. Come on. And I think I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to adhere my image. And the paper I forgot, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, the paper that I ironed it onto was just some regular um, multi purpose like printer paper. But you can iron it onto um, cardstock if you want to. And also with the, um, the iron, um, I took out all the water, there was no water in the iron. Put it this way a little bit. So I'm gonna put some. I think I'm gonna put a sentiment down this side over here. Hold on. No, don't tear on me. So I can get it back off. <laughs> see, that's why I don't do process videos. And you get to see all my mistakes. But I'm not perfect, so. All right, I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna use some of this trim here that I got from Shabalicious. 
I love this. It's so pretty. I'm going to use some of this on my card. So let me get out my... And I went ahead and um, pre-measured it for time's sake so I don't take forever. I'm trying to do this card. And I think I'm going to put it on the actual trim. I'm going to put some hot glue on here. Mm. Is my thing on? Yeah, it's on. I'm just not doing it hard enough, I guess. You know how it is when you first put a new stick in here, it doesn't want to come out. Well, well, well. Um, TJ. Uh-oh. Never mind. It's not working for me. It was just working. I don't know what's up with this. Tell Jaden to bring my um my glue gun back, please. The other one he has in the room. This isn't the one I usually use. I usually bring this out for like super duper super duper <laughs> heavy duty stuff. But um I have to make it work today. Cause my son is doing a log cabin out of match the matchsticks so I bought a bunch of match boxes today for a project and put that there is that one hot hmm? I'm just gonna piece for this because it's I'm sorry. acting funny I'm just putting some um, glue on the other piece real quick. Here, Jaden. Let me take it back. It was just acting up on me. Oh, no, I got spider webs everywhere. Alright, so the second one, I'm going to apply it across the top. Like so. And Sorry. What do I have for me? Yeah, I knocked you guys over. Sorry about that. All right. right now and I'm trying to think at the same time um, what I'm gonna do like I laid out all this stuff so I kind of have an idea or some stuff to work with but sometimes my ideas don't come to mind so fast now these are some wooden letters that I had um, they were brown they were just wood they look like these here just wooden pieces and I colored it I colored it with this R13, which is tender pink, and then I went over top of it with some stickles. And this one is tropical tangerine. So I went over um, the word that the letters I'm going to use. I think I'm going to put dream on here somewhere. I haven't decided where I'm going to put them, so let me just. See if it'll fit here. Alright, it'll fit. So let me just do this real quick. Add some glue on here. Um, TJ. Mm. 
which I need my glue gun back because this is supposed to act it up. I thought it was going to start working for me, but it's not. Like, I don't understand. It's working fine all this time. As soon as I want to do a video, it wants to act up. So, I'll put it there. <clears throat> Plug it up for me, please. Unplug the big one and put that one in. This is my trusty <laughs> glue gun. It always works for me. The other one's kind of iffy. I'm making sure I don't spell the word wrong. <laughs> that would be messed up. That would be tragic. Because of the paper would tear and everything else. So. <clears throat> Alright, am I in frame? No, I'm so sorry. But I was just gluing those down. I told you, I'm not used to doing this. I can remember to keep it right here so you can see. Okay, so now I think I want to add some pearls. I'm going to add some pearls on top of my card. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some on the bottom inside the lace. So I can do this before my, um, my glue hardens. Try my frame. Oops, I lost one. Okay. And I'm going to add. My extension is not reaching, so hold on. I'm going to add some at the top. I just put a little dab of glue on the place up here. Am I still in frame? I have some glue strings and stuff hanging, but I'll just get that once everything cools off. Otherwise, it's going to keep running every time I pull it. <clears throat> I have that. I don't know about that tangerine color. It's kind of bright, but I like it because it's shimmery. That's what it looks like so far. And I'm going to add some. I think I'm going to do like a little cluster on the side. So I'll just put some glue on here. I just put some down on here because I'm not. It's gonna seep through that if I try to do it the other way. And these also came from um, Shabbylicious, which are these little. We can see that the light is kind of bright. But they're like little um doily like doily type little crochet things. So I'm gonna put a couple of these, which also came from 
Fabulicious. I'm going to put two of these on here. Put that one right there. And I kind of want to do them off center. I don't want them to be like perfect. I don't want everything perfectly centered. And I think I want to use one of these doves. And these are really cute. These came also from the Shabulicious shop on Zibit. I'll leave a link below to her shop. Well, before I add that, I think I'll put some flowers. Put some of these. I think I'm going to put the dove over here. Yep, right there. Okay. That's it. And a bunch of glue strings. I don't want to come off. Okay. So that's the front. I may decide to something later on. I'm still undecided, but this is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to mat some paper on the inside. <clears throat> I'm going to use some gray and white to kind of tie it into the front. Mat this on here. Yeah, close my door. If I get one more interruption, it's gonna be some trouble in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like that, and then I'm gonna add some. I have these little black, like fabric type flowers, just to kind of tie in the black that I have on the front. I'm gonna put one there. One there. Oh, stick it to my finger. All right, and then, hmm, I'm gonna use some of these. These also came from Shabulicious, these little pearlescent flowers. And we'll use two of these. So, my glue gun won't reach. Hold on. dab of glue in the center <clears throat> and then you can write your message on the inside here so that's what the inside looks like it's just kind of simple oh, the light is too bright I turn this light off mm -hmm. can you still see you pretty much see. You can see my shadow now. Okay, so I got cut off, but as I was showing you real quick before it cuts off on me again, this is the front of the card. And this is the inside. It's really simple on the inside. Nothing too fancy. Now, I might dress this up a little bit later on, but after right now, that's all I'm going to do. But basically, I just want to show you the, um, the tissue, the napkin transfer technique. So I hope you all enjoyed and find some inspiration. And I thank you all for watching. Everyone have a happy new year. Bye.